so I'm keeping my promise of making a video even though it's getting late and uh, we are uh, still on a trip visiting my parents returning tomorrow uh, and uh, uh, starting uh, Friday I'll be doing my regular videos again uh, in, the, in my regular home environment. Anyway, uh, today I want to just touch briefly on a concept that uh, several of my clients have found very helpful, which is the idea of the artist versus the entrepreneur when it comes to doing work that you love, that you get paid to do. Okay, So um, as you probably know that I, I, t I love talking about the idea of true livelihood, which is doing work that uh, utilizes your greatest strengths in service to the world and being able to make a living doing it. All right, there's these two paths called the artist versus the entrepreneur. And when I say artist and entrepreneur, I don't take those words literally. I'm using those words as symbols for, for these two paths. Um, you can think about the artist versus the entrepreneur path as the inner to outer versus the outer to inner. Okay, so let me explain what I mean. The artist... The artist's path to true livelihood, to doing a, having a business a work that you love to do that you get paid for, is basically coming from your passions, your deepest passions, coming from what you most love to do, sharing your work widely with the world, taking, uh, it, and it takes time to then gather an ideal audience, gather tr some true fans who love the work that you share with them, okay? And at, at first you would share it for free so that you can probably share for free so you can start gathering an audience. And once you've gathered an audience, okay, then you make an offer, something, create a service or a product or a program that they can then buy. Now, versus the entrepreneur's path is the path of outer to inner. So you first... Um, do the research to see what is already selling out there that you might want to also sell. Okay, You see what's already selling and what's maybe missing from what's being sold. Maybe, maybe, it's not, maybe more people want to buy than is available. Okay? Or maybe it's, it's being sold in a way that um, you think that you could create an improvement to that service or a unique twist to that service to, to then also um, so that people would love to buy as well. So you kind of do that market research, okay? And then you kind of you bring some of your inner um, passion and, and personality to it. And then you, 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 you start by selling, getting customers, and then building an audience. And then eventually with a large enough audience, you can then go more and more into doing the thing of your passion and because they're already your fans they will also like what you do for 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 um what you offer out of your passion that's not necessarily um very popular in terms of what's being sold so you see the this i know this is a short time for me to explain the difference but the artist path again is a longer path you start with your inner passion and you take the time sometimes years to build an audience around just your passionate voice your authentic voice and then you sell, you sell your fans something versus the entrepreneur's path. You sell something first that you know will sell. And then eventually over time, you move more and more into sharing also your inner passion and inner voice. So I hope that's, and, and the entrepreneur's path is usually the shorter path to cash, to money, but it requires more willingness to be selling what's, be selling what's selling out there versus the artist's path is staying true to your passion building an audience, then selling something. But that's a much, usually a much longer path to money. So both are great. Um, depends on what, um, you know, what, uh, what, how much time you have. But I hope this is helpful. I'll put some more resources under the video. And uh, until the next video, be well.